Welcome back. I'm Jim. I'm Todd. We're the Performance Final Guys. So we've covered uh, cutting your block, we've covered axles, we've covered uh, drilling the holes. Today we're going to cover the last bit of speed that you can really get out of here short of fine tuning uh, the last few things on the car on assembly. So we've got our wheels here and Jim and I are going to talk through our process on polishing up the bore of the wheels so that you can get that last extra little bit of speed and get the, uh, the last little bit of friction out of there and maximize that axle that you just polished up. Yep, like Todd was saying, the last step for that final bit of speed is uh, wheel bore prep. And uh, the first thing you want to do with a set of wheels, regardless if they're aftermarket or the original BSA wheels, you, uh, you want to wash them. Throw them, in the, throw them in some water with some detergent. We at Performance Spinewood sell a complete wheel bore kit that has the detergent on through everything else we'll talk about in this video. Um, you're going to need a hobby swab or two. You're going to need Q-tips and, and fluffy pipe cleaners. Um, Todd's going to go ahead and, and get that hobby swab ready in the, in the drill. You're going you're gonna to need the drill similar to what we used on the axles as a part of the first step. Yep. I'm just going to cut this hobby swab in half so that we can chuck it up in the drill. And I'm going to demonstrate this quickly. At the end of the day, the, the majority of the time to uh, polish and, and wax the wheel that's the first steps are polishing and the final step is to clean the wheel again and then go for a wax that gives you that that last bit of speed the like I said I'm gonna go through this quickly but basically it's about 30 seconds or so for for each step what you want to do is take one of the q-tips and this would this would be polish put a little polish on that hobby swab go ahead and take your wheel and it doesn't matter which side you're going to you're going to end up working uh, both sides of the wheel, both the front and the back. And the first thing you do is put it on that hob hobby swab. Then you take a Q-tip with polish on it, and you're going to work the edge. You're going to work that that interior bore on that side. Then you want to go ahead and do the bore both ways. You're, you probably want to use a little more polish than I put on there for the demo, for this demonstration. But there again, um, you want to start with not a whole bunch so that, that it has traction on your hobby swab. When you get that done, you're going to flip the wheel around. Go ahead and do the bore for 30 seconds that way. And then you do that interior bore and you take that Q-tip and you work it in that interior bore, working that polish. We're hitting on outside of that wheel because the, the, the axle is going to be touching, that yes. nail is going to be touching out there. So this, we're trying to reduce friction everywhere we can, right, Jim? The, interior, the exterior wheel bore, the interior wheel bore, this edge, the inner edge, and this outer edge right here that you work with the Q-tips. You're going to want to use multiple Q-tips. At the end of the day, you probably use one Q-tip end for each piece. So you're going to go through three Q-tip ends, polishing those surfaces. Right. With, you're getting all of this on the outside and all this on the inside. Yep. When that step is done, you got excess polish left in there. You remove your hobby swab and you take your uh, your fluffy pipe cleaner. And these can probably be cut down to go a little further, and you chuck that up in your drill. Get it good and tight. You want to work this in very gently because that wire will scratch that bore and you just you give it about 20 seconds this way, flip it around and work that pipe cleaner in there gently, give it about 20 seconds that way. When it's all done, you want to take these Q-tips and hand clean those bores with their remaining polish. Just working all those surfaces. Dig it in as hard as you can, things like that, to clean those and get them, get them very polished. You can examine these wheel bores before and after under magnification, a magnifying glass or something like that, or a, a jeweler's loop, and look through here and you'll see how shiny it gets. You'll also be able to identify some of them will have a bit of a flaw in them, no matter how much you polish them. If you're running a three-wheeled car, take that most flawed wheel and make it the one that doesn't touch the track. There's another right. speed tip for you. When you're all done with the polishing, you're gonna wash the wheel again, 
and then there is a wax. The wax is worked in the same way. You, you, you take a, a hobby swab, chuck it up in the drill, and you work that wax in there. You, you go back with the Q-tips and so forth. You let that wax cure, and then you polish it one last time with a dry pipe cleaner. Yep. And, and that, that is the key to wheel bore prep. It's basically a three-stage process. There, there's two stages of polish, the clean, the wax. Uh, I think we talked about it just a little bit ago, but we at Performance Pine would sell a complete kit with all the Q-tips, the hobby swabs, the pipe cleaners, the various washes, and uh, it, it can get you from, from A to B and getting that wheel bore prepped. It is the final step. It is. We, we give you everything you need to get those waxes in there and really polish up that, that wheel bore so that it runs real smooth and runs real fast. You bet. And that speed, we'll see you on race day. See you later.